you guys would be sick of me lagos today in london tomorrow day, day. ghana today maldives tomorrow jamaica the next day mexico would you advise other women to date and marry pilots so yeah you get free tickets assumptions are sika with you <laughs> oh you guys i do you know wifey duties and all of that and so i begin to panic your husband can easily cheat on you because of the fact that he's traveling and meeting more people okay hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here if this is your first time seeing this pretty face my name is naku alote a ghanian youtuber and i've been married to an amazing husband who is a pilot for two years now but we've been together for five years in total and as you can see from the title of today's video i'm going to be responding to your assumptions about being married to a pilot or being a pilot's wife so stick and stay till the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to the channel so i put up a post on my community tab here on youtube and on my instagram story as well for you guys to drop your assumptions about being married to a pilot and i got some wild assumptions so i'll be responding to all of these assumptions in today's video so let's get straight into it so these are the assumptions i got from instagram so the very first assumption says money no be problem okay so even millionaires and billionaires still have money problems i guess even like rich people rich rich super rich people still have money problems so i don't think money is really not a problem to anybody however i'll just say we're comfortable and yeah we're comfortable we're okay and that's enough right <laughs> the next question says um do you have any fears when he's on a plane okay so i guess it's normal for for me to to have fears but then maybe like on like on a daily basis every day he goes to work i don't think i i'm scared or i have fears because my husband is good at what he does but aside that obviously the aircraft is a machine anything can happen so yeah i i do have fears but i don't think i really express like my fear i mostly have fears like i mostly panic when he's working and the weather is bad because i know how bad it is when they have like the experience weather when they are up there so that's when i know that i show like fear but then as compared to oh he going to work coming back every day i think i've gotten used to it sort of and i trust like i don't know i'm just because obviously before they take off and all of that they do their checks yes i know anything can happen but then like on a daily basis i don't think i express so much fear as compared to days that like the weather is bad and all of that that's when like i panic because mostly when he's working and the weather is bad like the first thing i do is to message him and whenever i message him and he hasn't like opened the message or replied i know that he's airborne and so i begin to panic until I see that the message has been opened or until he replies the message then um like you know calm so yeah that's mostly when like you know proper fear sets in or that's when like i panic but then aside that i think i've gotten used to it like he going to work coming back going to work coming back and all of that yeah so that's about it okay so this one says he's away a lot of the time um yeah currently when he's working obviously he's away but fortunately for me right now he's working with a domestic airline so i know that at the end of the day my husband comes back to me as compared to when he used to work um with a private jet company and even with that it was a long distance relationship because they were based in abuja and i was in ghana at the time so that was obviously yes he was away a lot of the time but right now yeah most of the time he's working and so i'm alone but it's way better um as compared to when he was working outside of ghana and with a private job company uh so yeah it's way better now until 
when he decides to move from you know the domestic airline he's working with now to another airline which is not domestic then yeah obviously he's going to be away a whole lot more this one's <laughs> this one's <laughs> This one says, you never lack anything. Hey, I wish. I never lack anything. Well, I'll just say I'm fortunate enough um, to mostly have what I need and maybe what I want. But I wouldn't say I don't lack anything. Like, I never lack anything. Yes, I do lack. I do. <laughs> I do lack some things. But then I just live within my means. So... I'm just okay I'm comfortable I can I can afford what I need and my wants as well so yeah this one says <laughs> traveling back to back <laughs> back the back to back to back to back I can't even count the number of times you would back back to back back to back back to back I wish if I did like you guys would be sick of me what's that song um Lagos today in London to that would that would have been my life like you know Ghana today Maldives tomorrow Jamaica the next day Mexico like you guys would be sick of me but unfortunately I don't travel back to back to back here yeah, I do travel once in a while I try to you know explore but I don't travel back to back to back to back to back Maybe I'll get there soon. So pray that I get more money. <laughs> this one says, um, I think you get to travel for free. Hmm. This assumption, like a lot of people have this assumption and I don't even know why. Okay, so let me explain something to you. Actually, I went with an airline. That was like my first proper job. I did my national service there and I was retained. I stayed there for two additional years. So I sort of, know how you know the aviation industry sort of works and obviously i'm married to a pilot now so let me explain this to you once you work with an airline as a staff you are entitled to um, staff ticket so yourself and your partner your spouse plus your dependent you are entitled to staff ticket however note that um it's on like that particular career so that means that you get to travel for free on the airline that you work with. So yourself plus your partner or your spouse plus your dependent. Mostly staff tickets are standby tickets. So even when like you've been issued a staff ticket, even when you have a staff ticket to travel on the airline that you work with, when you get to the airport, they have to make sure that... Um, the passengers who have actually paid and are going on that particular flight board first before you or your spouse or your dependent are allowed to board so it's more of a standby ticket on condition that the aircraft is not full so you get to have like you know the ticket for free obviously but you have to wait for all the paid passengers to board to finish boarding before um, you are allowed to board sometimes too in some cases when you get to the uh, to the airport and then the ground staff check and then they notice that the flight is not full yes they will allow you to board because obviously they know there will be empty um, seats on the flight so yeah you get free tickets from the airline that you work with so with my husband for instance because I'm his spouse I get to travel on you know um, his airline as in the airline he works with for free that's um on his staff ticket so when we have kids as well our kids will get to fly for free on his um staff using his staff ticket as well but bear in mind it's just for that particular airline that he works for so it's not for like every other airline however there's also this um other option when it comes to um, traveling on another airline aside where my husband works. So that is called a rebate ticket or a discounted ticket. So let's say we are traveling, but where we are traveling to, uh, my husband's company doesn't fly to that destination. In that case, 
uh, my husband can go to the HR of his company for them to apply to the HR of the other airline that flies to the destination that we will be going to. So in that case, um, it's more of like company to company. And because my husband is a staff of an airline, um, his company can apply for a rebate ticket for him from another airline, provided the airline flies to the destination we are going to. So with that, it's not a free ticket. It's a rebate ticket. It's a discounted ticket. So we don't really get to travel for free, as most of you think. I hope like this clears the air on that. Um, the next one, this is quite similar to that. It says you get to you get the opportunity to fly anytime you want. Um, that's actually not true. Uh, just as I've explained, uh, we don't get free tickets, and so it's not as if you can fly at any time you want. The next person says, um, it's the way the person started with M for me because I'm sure she didn't know, he or she didn't know if she should like, you know, go ahead with this assumption. It says, um, your husband can easily cheat on you because of the fact that he's traveling and meeting more people. Okay. So, <laughs> just as any husband of any other profession if a man decides to cheat, he would cheat, no matter his profession. So let me put it out there. Like, if a man decides to cheat, you can't stop him from cheating. So that is a no-brainer. However, yeah, I understand where she's coming from because, yeah, obviously, he's away most of the time, meeting new people and all of that. Yeah, that's okay. But I believe just like every other relationship, there needs to be trust and like commitment. Both of you need to be willing to work towards this thing called relationship or this thing called marriage. And for me, I don't think I ever worry about that. If I'm being very, very, very honest, I don't think I ever worry about that. Okay, so this one is a question. Yeah, she's asking a question. So she's asking if my husband doesn't like to show his face in most of my vlogs because of because work won't allow it all right so my husband is the opposite of me when it comes to pictures camera videos and all of that like he is the direct opposite of me my husband doesn't like pictures he doesn't like pictures and so the ones that i even managed to get I guess it's because he loves me. <laughs> I guess it's because he loves me. Uh, that's like the truth. But yeah, aside that, um, when he's in uniform, his work doesn't allow it, sort of. So I barely um, try to take, you know, videos of him when he's in uniform. But aside that, my husband doesn't like like pictures. He doesn't like videos. So you know, all the little snippets that I managed to get of him or all the few instances where i've managed to get him like in my vlogs and all of that it's just because he loves me and he knows this me <laughs> it's just because he loves me and he knows you know this makes me happy like i enjoy youtube i enjoy vlogging i enjoy all of that the next one says luxury luxury hmm i wish i'm not living the most luxurious life it's obvious but <laughs> I, I pray i'll get there someday like really i pray to be you know living that luxurious lifestyle someday but like i said earlier on i'm comfortable we are comfortable and that's all that matters this one is similar to the luxury or um you are rich it says assumptions are sika will fear <laughs> oh you guys I assume they don't really have time because they are flying most of the time. I think I've responded to this one too as well. But like I said earlier on, uh, right now because he's working with a domestic airline, he like yeah he, he does have time. He has time for me and that's okay. Is this a question or is an assumption? It ends with a question mark though, so I believe it's a question. So it says zero contributions in the house. <laughs> okay, so this is what I would say just like any other household or just like most households i believe in most households um, the man 
takes care of like majority of the things at home so yeah my my home is like most households my husband that's majority of the things but i also do like you know bits and pieces i'm coming home this is not available i buy i see this i think it will make our house look good i buy you know just little little things petty petty stuff but yeah i also contribute to the house i do what a wife is supposed to do i do you know wifey duties and all of that 100 yards wifey material check <laughs> wow this person asked four different questions i think i've responded to two already one is about the whole you know scared of your husband cheating and the other one is about me panicking when he's you know flying and this one is asking does your partner's role get you easy passes to various countries um i no, it doesn't get me easy passes to various countries like i have to go through the same process everybody goes through to get like you know um if the country requires a visa to get a visa to travel to that particular country however i think there might be like you know um a little advantage based on the fact that he's a pilot especially when we are applying for visas together as a couple because obviously his passport has like a lot of stamps a lot of visas and so it makes it easier for me as well so yeah when we are applying for visas together that might be like some sort of advantage that i get but aside that i go through you know the normal process visa application process if it requires an interview i need to go for an interview just as every other person would the next one says would you advise other women to date and marry pilots what are the most likely pros and cons you have learned so far from marrying a pilot will i advise other women to date and marry pilots well if you are in love with the person why not like i don't think his profession should be a reason why um, you should not date or marry him if you are in love with him and also you should understand what you are getting yourself into especially if you know your partner is working for an international airline and so it means that he's away most of the time and all of that so there need to be like a lot of understanding commitment trust so yeah if you are in love with the person and he's a pilot i don't think that should stop you from dating or marrying him however you should have an idea of what you are getting yourself into like the nature of their job understand the nature of their job and yeah trust your partner <laughs> and when it comes to most likely pros and cons i think some of the most likely pros i'd say the fact that you get to um, enjoy staff benefits because of your husband like yourself and your dependent so you get to like fly on that particular airline that your partner works at for free um on his staff ticket and also you know the whole rebate ticket advantage and when it comes to cons loneliness he being away most of the time even if like he's working for a domestic airline he's you are mostly home alone and the fact that he has to go away for trainings and stuff like that and the fact that you panic sometimes so yeah those are you know a few pros and cons um for dating or marrying a pilot all right guys so thank you guys so much for sending in these assumptions i actually enjoyed doing this if you have any other assumptions or um, follow-up questions you can drop them in the comment section below and i'll be sure to respond to all of them and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my amazing youtube family and i'll be bringing you more videos thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye